Hey guys, what's up? This is Swift here for Chinese Tech. Today, I have with me a very exciting product. Uh, as usual, with all the other products I've reviewed and unboxed so far, this is the Meizu MX4 Pro. And uh, the Meizu MX4 without the Pro uh, came out about uh, quite some time ago. But the Pro Edition, which is a revamp of their MX4, which is their flagship device, uh, is that... Um, it just came out about a month or two ago and it has refreshed uh, specifications, better uh, screen, etc. So yeah, I, I'm so fortunate to get my hands on one of these. And uh, it is quite expensive as well, uh, but uh, I had some discount, so I might as well went, go ahead and buy it. Uh, so you can see here, this is the box. Uh, I know nothing about it because uh, this was more like a I saw it on sale, so I, I quickly went to buy it because I wanted to review it for you guys and unbox it and whatever that I do on this channel. Uh, so as you can see the box is very plain uh, but it is made of kind of a like a more premium kind of material uh, and you can see uh, that the box is somewhat uh, stout in the shape of like a book in the sense that they have this uh, uh, I'm not sure if this I'm not sure if this will be picked up on camera but Okay, I don't think you can see it, but it like kind of have a stylized kind of finish here that looks like a book, uh, all the pages rather. And there is a reason for that because I'm going to open this up and you see for yourself. So uh, you're going to see that the top flips open. So uh, what it says here in Chinese is that this is a better uh, phone, like a, a nicer phone to use. And then you flip it again, it show you some of the features which is kind of cool uh, and you flip it again introducing the Meizu MX4 Pro and of course this is their uh, OS that I'm very excited to try, about, try it out uh, I heard quite a good many people uh, singing quite a lot of praises about this particular UI or rather the custom Android OS that's the FlyMe 4 and this is the phone uh, as you can see I'm gonna pop it out wow yeah it feels good uh, so I've never touched it at all uh, this is the first time I'm seeing it so I'm going to power it on and then we before we look at the phone we're going to take a look at some of the different things that they provide us together with uh, the phone so we have here a quick start menu uh, or rather the warranty stuff yeah and okay uh, we have here a cover for the the accessories here so we have a wall adapter a pretty standard one and we have a USB plug as well uh, micro USB to USB let's see if we can focus this okay micro USB to USB uh, yeah the quality is pretty okay uh, on first touch but uh, it feels really pretty much like those generic ones it, it doesn't feel that great uh, but yeah, that's all they provide. Uh, nothing much else to say about it. Probably won't be needing this as I already have all my charging stuff already set up. So we'll take a look around the phone, a phone tour. Uh, so we have the screen here. This is, I believe, a, four, a QHD screen, which is 2560 uh, by uh, 1440. So that's amazing. And we have a home button and what I know about this OS is that they do not have capacitive buttons here, but what they do have is a smart bar. So what this smart bar is, is basically it adapts to uh, different apps that you're using. So it can change from a back button to become a settings button, whatever. Uh, it depends on whether the, the app uh, supports it or not. Otherwise, uh, that's about it. Uh, we have a front uh, a home button. Uh, we have, I believe this is a five megapixel camera not too sure about the specifications. Again, as always, all my unboxing, uh, take my, the facts that I say about the particular device with a pinch of salt, uh, because uh, I'm not too sure, I just got it. Uh, but of course, in the full review, I'll, I'll have more uh, stuff that is probably the uh, accurate. So to the left side, we have a volume rocker. We have a volume rocker. And uh, to the right side, we have nothing. And the top is basically the power button and, and that's about it to the phone. Alright, the bottom. 
the bottom we have uh, like a iPhone style kind of a uh, speaker uh, not too sure it's much better than the back I guess but we have to hear it for ourselves to see whether the speakers are okay um, then we have the micro USB ports and at the back uh, this particular camera that you see here uh, it's actually 20 point something megapixel so I'm not too sure uh, based off the paper specifications it, it should be really good um, but we of course have to say uh, camera is not just about the the megapixels right the sensor etc uh, we have to see for ourselves whether it is it will take good photos or not but I'm hoping it will and I believe this opens up the back to give us access to the okay the back the price of really difficult so uh, the battery <laughs> let's see if we can capture it here now the battery says here it looks like a removable battery but it's actually a non-removable one it, it also says do not disassemble the battery so uh, it, it, it teases you like it's a it's a non-removable battery so do take note don't see like it looks as if you can pluck it out and 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 you try to brute force it out um, this battery is non-removable and uh, i'm trying to find where's the sim card slot right it says at the top oh here here there we go the sim card slot is right here now unfortunately this phone does not have a micro sd card sto uh, storage expansion option so uh, this might be a deal breaker uh, the, it, the phone comes in very uh, two sizes I believe two or three uh, there's a 16 gig one and this one is the 32 gig uh, version uh, I definitely recommend you get at least 32 gigs uh, as, as nowadays um, you will definitely need more storage space and yeah that's about it really um, this is the Meizu MX4 Pro I absolutely cannot wait to try this phone out and uh, I'll get back with the review as soon as I can. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, of course, uh, as always, do leave them in the, in the comments, uh, uh, specific, specific things that you want me to look at. Um, yeah, just let me know and I'll look uh, and answer them in my full review. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys again soon. Uh, do subscribe and like this video.